Hello everyone, welcome to another vlog. It's been ages since I've vlogged and it feels all a bit strange. We got to Belfast from Dublin yesterday, quite late at night. We checked into our hotel, which is actually not that bad. I thought it was awful when we arrived last night, but that's because we were staying at the Morrison in Dublin, which is like literally the best hotel I've ever stayed in in Dublin earlier this week. And we just checked out of there, arrived here, and I was like, wow, it is dark. It is a really dark hotel room. There's barely any light. At the moment, it's fine because it's a really nice and sunny day. But anyway, I need to get this really short because I have about 20 seconds. Um, Jess is working from the hotel room today. We didn't have any plans, but we've managed to squeeze in a black cab political tour of Belfast um, in his lunch break because they pick you up from your hotel, they take you on this tour it's about an hour and a half and they drop you back so i'm really looking forward to that we have to be downstairs in like two minutes i'm gonna go yeah. and i'll take you I'm on the tour go. with me but this is basically your lunch break isn't it yep um yeah so let's go <laughs> now, you see how we pop her in the corner see it right down the corner of the crowd oh, oh yeah, yeah i've heard of this i know you're from london and you've got your own wee historic pubs that pub hasn't changed since it was built oh all really the decoration all the painting oh my god yeah in the city centre, it's just your city centre shopping. Yeah. You know what I mean? Security gate. Okay. So, Belfast is not a large city, it is really small, especially in the city centre. It's really compact, really easy to get around. Mm. But it's good for pubs, to be honest. Yeah. <laughs> Families. You might get the odd Catholic level of a, a, a Protestant partner, boyfriend, or girlfriend somewhere, and it's the same in the Fox Road. There's no Protestant families there, there's no Protestant churches. They, they, they don't see the Union Jack flag as their flag, they don't like it. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. They, they don't see it as offensive. Uh, it's under the Good Friday Agreement, the IRA is gone. A lot of people find that hard to believe. Well, their military strict side of things is gone, right? Mm. But they haven't given up their fight for the United Ireland. They're still trying to get a United Ireland only through politics. They've got a political party called Sinn Féin, like you said. So yeah. The IRA was the military side, Sinn Féin the political side. They're trying to get a United Ireland through politics rather than guns and bombs now. Are you the UDA leader? You know what I mean? You don't get on the walls. You don't get yeah. this for just being an ordinary leader. You have to have done something. Done something, early. yeah. The, some of the murals are about uh, trying to put up more positive images rather than just paramilitary images. Mm. Like that one about women's rights. But the vast majority are still dominated. By. Here, Stevie McKeague is seen as like a soldier, a defender, of course, right? Mm. Um, as in UDA, also mm. defense, a defender. Catholics wouldn't see him like that, as you can imagine, right? Yeah. Catholics <laughs> would see him as a killer, murder. This tour is really interesting. First, we're in the Protestant area, I think. And this is like, <clears throat> I'm gonna have to explain this all to you later because it's very like in depth. <coughs> But Northern Ireland is very divided, as I'm sure you know, and the Protestants basically see themselves as British. Um, so this is where we are, and they've got like loads of Union Jack flags, and these are like the murals they have on the walls, like this. The neighbourhoods are quite clearly marked out of who's who, do, or do you know what I mean? Yeah. Mm. See these markings on the curbs, red, white, and blue, and the street lamps. Mm. This is like no man's land. Or the This glory is just with a black arm man. Right? So when I get through there. Guys, this is now Catholic. Oh. And you, I'm oh. going to try and find somewhere to pull up, right? Mm. That glory. I always want to drive up that same door. Oh, yeah. But you see the glory is just black arm This tour is so interesting. We're probably only about halfway through. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we're at a peace wall. We've gone through some security gates because they have those to like divide the Protestant and the Catholic. And they lock them at night, but the daytime they're open, obviously, so people can drive through and like get about their day. Steals us. <laughs> Guys, you know what we need in Belfast, right? You, you hear all these things about uh, immigrants trying to cross a channel and get into England and trying to get. No, we need, in my opinion, anyway, we need a big influx of that. We need more diversities, right? We need, we, we need more Eastern Europeans. We need, we need more. You're not going to have any Gaelic symbolism or street signs in a Protestant district. 
think of over 40 memorial gardens like this in Belfast alone. Republican memorial wow. gardens. So the idea was that they're supposed to do, obviously bounce off them. Is that the plastic one? That's the rubber one. Oh, that's the plastic one. Wow. It's like... Like shit piece of plastic. Yeah. Yeah. Just got back from the um, Black Cab tour and oh my god, it was so good, wasn't it? It was yeah, really yeah. interesting. It's funny because I met a taxi driver in Dublin <laughs> who's a tour guide in Belfast and he was telling me that if you go to Belfast you have to do like a black cab tour and I googled it and the one we did was um by a company called Paddy Campbell's black cab tours or something like that and when we checked into the hotel yesterday they had some leaflets downstairs but it was a different company which were actually more expensive so I went onto this Paddy Campbell guy's website which by the way is like ancient it was like last updated in 2012 and not mobile friendly but we called them just to see if they could do something and he was like yeah sure we can book you in today and their TripAdvisor reviews are insane like they're all excellent there's like 5,000 excellent reviews and just like the next one down which is good and there's just none that are like terrible or like poor it was such a good tour I'm not massively into history and I'd say that Jas probably isn't either um, but I found it really fascinating and really interesting and you kind of learn stuff that I guess living in England um, you wouldn't really be taught like the IRA and what was it the UDA UDA. The UDA, which is like their defence people. Also defence something. Yeah, I don't know. Um, I can't remember. But I did vlog loads of clips, which I you will have obviously just seen. We've got back to the hotel and now we're starving. So we're going to go through like our snacks. Basically bananas and... Oh, oh, we bought crisps yesterday on our road trip and just have those. I think Jess has to get back to work. Um, I'm going to do some work and then we'll go out for dinner somewhere nice tonight. So I was downstairs in the lobby when we got back, just trying to insta story something. And I met this man and he was so funny because in instantly I knew he was from like Dublin or somewhere, like Southern Ireland, because um, of his accent. But he said he's from County Mayo, which is basically Southern Ireland. Um, but he lives in Hampstead, but he can't, he was here on business, so he's like from the UK and he's lived there for 21 years. So I got talking to him for ages, he was asking what I do. Anyway, he ended up following me on YouTube, um, which is really funny if he actually watches this. And he was like, I'm going to watch your videos and he was telling me all about how he's, um, like he works in art, he works for Christie's. Mm. Um, and he was here like on business and he's travelled like the whole world. Um, and I thought that was really cool, so... Yeah, one thing he did say actually um, is that Belfast can like not be racist but they are not used to like seeing people of colour and so you might feel a little bit awkward if that makes sense and if I'm completely honest that is my first, that was like my first thought before we came to Belfast. I've always heard like really mixed things about it and obviously I, like we haven't been here long enough to like experience that at all. Everyone we've met has been super friendly but like yeah um, he was just saying to like just beware of that because his wife is from Jamaica and so obviously his daughter's like mixed race or whatever the like t like politically correct term for that is and she was saying to him that she definitely notices it and she feels a bit awkward and the guy Kieran who took us on the taxi tour um was saying as well you'll notice in Belfast it's not like there's no like multicultural anything like everyone is white um which is true but yeah like I said we haven't noticed that at all yet but then again we haven't really ventured out the hotel so <laughs> hopefully we will this evening for now I am gonna go and eat my banana and do some work and I will see you later Ugh. Hmm. Oh my god, we spent like over an hour driving around looking for parking. All the restaurants are fully booked here. We've got the teeniest, tiniest table at a place called Jumon that um, is on my list of like, my top two on my list of restaurants to try in Belfast. It's all vegetarian and vegan, and look at this food. It's just come out and show you. Sorry, sorry. Thank you. Oh my god, look at this. This looks insane. I love cauliflower. Flower. Oh, and we got this. Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> 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 Salad. This looks so good. Oh, yeah. 
jackfruit curry and that's the sauce. So you drizzle the sauce over the curry. How cool is that? Oh yeah. Go on, Jess, do the honours. Oh yeah. It smells good. Can we drizzle it too much? Um, keep <laughs> go explore the city centre. I've got wet hair which probably isn't a good idea, <laughs> not much makeup on. God, I look so tired. Yeah, hair looks like me. a drowned cat. We need breakfast um, and I need a coffee. Look She's at the orders. mountains, look at the mountains up there. So pretty. What lanterns? Mountains, what oh, mountains? I was going to say. <laughs> I mean, it's not exactly a pretty view but you know what I mean. <laughs> We're such eager beavers, we wanted to try Yugo last night and it was fully booked and we're standing outside waiting for it to open in about five minutes and it's about to start chucking it down so I hope it opens first. <laughs> Road trip once we could figure out how to get there. Um, lunch was like good, it wasn't amazing, it wasn't as good as last night, but it was still really good if that makes sense. Um, if we'd have had been to this restaurant first and Yugo and Jim on second, we would have really liked it more, I think. Anyway, um, we walked back in the rain, it is chucking it down. <laughs> well, let's stop now. We picked up the car from across the road, we came back to our hotel just to freshen up, um, and we're going to go on a road trip to. What's it called? A road trip to Giant's Causeway, but we're trying to find out how to get there because there's two routes. There's the motorway, which is just boring, and there's um, the coastal route, but Google Maps is not finding it for some reason. And seeing as it's daytime, we should do the coastal route now and the motorway on the way back. So yeah. jumped out of the car we pulled over in the middle of the road i've got red lipstick all around my mouth and my fingers because we stopped off and had some crisps but um there was a rainbow <sighs> and i got soaked because it started raining we just took some outfit photos not that i'm wearing like anything special but some instagram photos if you like but this view is absolutely incredible so we've kind of just pulled over here can you see the windscreen wipers Jess? and we basically we just went down these steps just here. I don't know if you can be able to see. I went down there and we just took some photos. The sky looks absolutely incredible. So we see this on my Instagram. Um, I hardly edit my photos anyway. Um, that is not a filter. That is actually what the sky looks like. In fact, let me just show you Here's some of the photos we just took. <laughs> it was so windy, I was getting blown away. <laughs> Look at my face. Yeah, that's not very flattering. There we go. There's some of the rainbow too. It's almost me, Yeah, she's so nice. <laughs> That's so funny. No, no, no. <laughs> anyway, as you can see, that's not a filter. This is just the photos in my phone. So yeah, ta-da! And we just stopped off at this little beach. It's so pretty. <sighs> Finally here. So I'm 
amazing we've just parked up. We're trying to find out how to get in for free because everyone says don't pay for the tourist attraction bit. We are here. Do you know what? This morning when I woke up, I didn't quite appreciate how far we were driving. We have literally driven around the whole island, all the way from Belfast. It's about three hours, I'd say, maybe a bit longer, including all the stops. Um, yeah, I'm really hungry now. little pillars that look like 50 pence pieces and they're like hexagonal this is giant causeway we could go further but oh my god it's so my head is frozen which never happens and we came all the way from like down there it's quite a long walk but it was all downhill um, and now we have to walk back up and a scone but we're definitely going to be ill oh, I feel it. <coughs> it was so cold out there I was so underprepared for it as well morning happy sunday we have literally just checked out of our hotel um as you can see it behind us there just just gone to check out Ugh, it is drizzling and rainy and i'm not sure what we're doing mm. we actually were allowed to check out until 2 p.m because we're like IHG reward members uh, for the Holiday Inn, whatever that means. So they let us check out too. We made full use of that. We actually fell asleep after breakfast and now we're like really like refreshed. And we were going to go to the Titanic Museum today, but I don't think Jas is feeling it. And it is just a really cold day. I do want to check out the Crown Pub. I also want to go to a few shops. I ran out of my eyebrow pencil this morning. Um, so like I did one <laughs> and then it ran out, which is very annoying. And if I can like get to a boots or a super drug here it'd be better because it's just a bit cheaper than dublin if not i'll go to one in dublin um tomorrow which is fine i don't think we're going to have lunch here we want to try and escape before we get hungry because everything is closed in belfast on a sunday i really wanted to get my nails done because they're a lot cheaper here than dublin um all nail salons are closed on sundays every single restaurant that we googled was closed apart from the indian um and what else was there oh yeah shops they all open at like 1 p.m so i think their trading law is on a sunday shops are open like 1 till 6 p.m so i think we're gonna go for a little mooch into the city center just has seen a place called the duke of york square where people take really cool instagram shots so he found it and i was like hey i'm up for that so that's where we're gonna go now and he's back so good timing i don't know what he's doing anyway huh, so cold check this out how pretty Finding something very inscrutable. This is the thing, like when you're like there taking photos, everyone else wonders what's going on, and they all come and do the same thing. <laughs> we had this whole place to ourselves for a while. Now there's like so many people here. <laughs> oh, it's such a rainy day. We've driven out to like what looks like a bit of a dodgy council estate. Um, this is clearly a Protestant area because they've got Union Jack flags up. But we've come to C.S. Lewis Park or Square, whatever it's called. So they've got all these like sculptures from the line, the Witch in the Wardrobe, which is pretty cool. 
must admit though that I don't really remember the book The Lion, the Witch and the Wardrobe but a fun fact when I was at school we did like a little theatre production at the YMCA and me and my friend really wanted to be in it but I don't think, don't think they had enough parts left or we were just not very good so we were both skunks which isn't actually in the story but they just made up roles for us so that we could be in this like play um, I'm both very proud of ourselves, but I don't actually remember the story. Okay, I do remember the White Witch because we had seen this song that was absolutely hilarious about the witch, but this is the uh, sculpture. Can't figure out if this is a wardrobe or not. <laughs> if it is, it's quite clever because it's obviously not part of the statues. But it is chucking it down and just keeps walking around with, with the umbrella. God damn it. And here's the lion. My camera is getting absolutely soaked. Look what we've just spotted. I knew they had Tim Hortons in Belfast and I really wanted to go, but I kind of forgot about it. And we've just seen this on our way back into the city centre. We're definitely getting a French vanilla. They also have a Starbucks drive through but I mean, come on, Tim Hortons it is. Ah, oh, yes, mac and cheese, garlic bread and chips. Look at you trying to be all healthy. Salmon. Salmon. Probably. With potatoes and stuff. Oh, potatoes. That food was really good, but the service in the Crown Liquor Saloon or whatever it's called, the Crown Bar, was terrible. They forgot our drinks. <laughs> so we went to Tesco Express or whatever it's called down the road and bought some uh, Coke Zero for our journey back. But that is it our time in belfast is over we are now driving back to dublin which is basically our second home like we're going home back to dublin yep um and it is chucking it down but even though it's like really windy and like really rainy here it's snowing in dublin which is gonna be a lot of fun but anyway um, i'm gonna end this vlog here thank you so much for watching keep an eye out for all of my belfast related blog posts i'm going to do like an itinerary a city guide things to do hotel review my favorite vegan friendly restaurants and all the rest of it so keep an eye out for those on the blog and i will link them down below in the description box but thank you so much for watching i'll see you next time bye bye